Hello everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are fine and are doing well. We have completed the ninth chapter that is measurement. We started the chapter by learning about the metric system. We learned about the metric system of three units that was length whose standard unit is meter. Then we learned about weight whose standard unit is gram and then we learned about capacity whose standard unit is liter. So this is what the metric system looks like. We write the standard unit in the center and all the units which are towards the right side of the standard unit are the greater units and everything towards the left are the smaller units. So the metric system reads as kilogram, hectogram, decagram, gram, decigram, centigram and milligram. So the starting word is same for all the metric systems that is kilo, hecto, deca, then we have the standard unit, then deci, centi and milliliter. Further we learned how to do the conversion of these metric units and under that we learned about conversion of bigger units to smaller units and smaller units to bigger units. Let's talk about conversion of bigger units to smaller units. Now whenever you have to convert a bigger unit into a smaller unit, we multiply by 10 for every jump we take towards the smaller unit. For example, we need to convert hectogram to decigram. We know that hectogram is a bigger unit than decigram. Now let's see how many jumps we need to take to reach from hectogram to decigram. 1, 2, 3. So we are taking 3 jumps. That means 1 hectogram is equal to, we will multiply 10 3 times, 1, 2 and 3. So first from hectogram we go to decagram, then gram and then decigram. So 1 hectogram is equal to 10 into 10 into 10 decigram which becomes 1000 decigram. Now for example I need to convert 2 hectogram into decigram. I will multiply 2 with 1000. I get the answer 2000 decigram. So similarly you can convert every bigger unit into a smaller unit. You just have to remember that for every step that you are taking towards a smaller unit, you multiply with 10. Next we learn how to convert smaller unit into a bigger unit. Now here we do the opposite. First we were multiplying for every jump. Now we will divide by 10 for every jump that we are, take, that we are taking from a smaller unit to a bigger unit. For example, I need to convert centiliter into decaliter. Now we know that centiliter is a smaller unit than decaliter. Now to go from centiliter to decaliter, how many jumps we need to take? 1, 2 and 3. We need to take 3 jumps. That means I will be dividing by 10 3 times. So 1 centiliter is equal to 1 upon 10 into 10 into 10. That means 1 upon 1000 deca liter. Now for example I need to find the value of 5 centiliter in terms of deca liter. So I will multiply 5 with 1 upon 1000. So we know how to solve the fraction with the whole number. I will multiply the whole number with the numerator. So 5 into 1 is 5 upon 1000. We can convert it into a decimal number. So first I will write the numerator as it is. There are three zeros in the denominator. That means there should be three decimal places. One decimal, decimal place is already available. So I will add two more by adding two zeros and then we will add a point and a zero again. So the answer of 5 centiliter in terms of decaliter is 0 0.005 decaliter. Always remember to write the unit with your answer. If you are not mentioning your unit, it does not specify that you have converted into which unit. Next we learned about operations with these metric system. So now if I need to convert 5 cl instead of 1, so you will take the value of 1 cl and you will multiply that with 5. So 1 by 1000 into 5 we get, we multiply the numerator and the whole number together. So we get 5 upon 1000. 
So when we convert this fraction into a decimal number, first I will write the numerator as it is. Now there are three zeros in the denominator. That means I should have three decimal places. One place is already mentioned, so I will add two zeros to give two more decimal places, and I will add a point. So my answer is zero point zero zero five deca liters. Always remember to write your unit with the final answer. Now, after learning about conversion of metric units, we learned about the four operations with the metric unit that is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We will learn about each topic in detail at the end of the video. Further, we learned about a topic that is average. Now, there is a formula to calculate average which says that sum of all the quantities divided by total number of quantities. So, for example, I have the quantities like one, two, three. So, to find the average of one, two, and three, I will add all my quantities. That is one plus two plus three. That becomes six, and I will divide that with the number of quantities. There are three quantities: one, two, and three. So, my average becomes six divided by three is two. Now, using the formula for average, we can solve many real-life applications that is in the form of word problems. Now, let's look at few examples for all the four operations that is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of metric systems. Let's talk about addition first. So, here is the question which says: Add 10 kilometer, 8 hectometer, 9 meter with 5 kilometer and 8 decimeter. So when you have to add or subtract, we use the column method. So here, first I have made the columns according to the units which are given in the question, and we write it in order. That means we first write the bigger unit and then we write the smallest unit. So here we in the first part we have kilometer, hectometer, and meter, and in the second part of the question we have kilometer, which is already mentioned, and we have decimeter. So I have made another column of decimeter. Now let's put the numbers accordingly. So 10 kilometers I have placed it under 10, 8, 9, and 5, which is again under kilometer and 8 under decimeter. So we will add accordingly. So first under kilometer I have 10 plus 5. So 10 plus 5. So we go from decimeter to kilometer. So first I will write 8. Then 9. There is nothing under it, so it becomes 9. 8 as it is. And at the end, it is 10 plus 5, so I will be writing 15 over here. So your answer becomes 15 kilometer, 8 hectometer, 9 meter, and 8 decimeter. So here, every unit is written individually, and the numbers falling under the unit are written according are written with it. Next we have subtraction. So here we have a question which says 10 liter 255 milliliters to be subtracted from 16 liter 490 milliliter. So here also we will write the columns. So first I have the unit liter and then I have the unit milliliter. Next now let's look at the second part. Here also I have liter and milliliter. So we do not have to add an additional column. I will write the numbers accordingly: 16 liter, 490 milliliter, minus 10 liter, 255 milliliter. So let's solve the milliliter column first. Zero minus five, it is not possible, so we take a borrow. This becomes 10, and nine becomes eight. 10 minus five, we get five. Eight minus five, we get three, and four minus two, we get two. Now let's go to the liters column. Six minus zero is six, and one minus one is zero. So the answer is six liters, two hundred thirty-five milliliters. Now let's talk about the operation of multiplication and division. Now under multiplication and division, we need to convert all the units into a single unit. It is always better to convert a bigger unit into smaller unit because there you just need to multiply. You can also use the conversion of a smaller unit into bigger unit, but that is according to your wish. So here we are converting. We have the question 12 kg 4 decagram, which is to be multiplied with 
we can see that there are two different units kilogram and decagram so i am going to convert the bigger quantity into a smaller quantity that is a bigger unit into smaller unit so 1 kg is equal to 100 decagram you can see the metric unit over here so from kg to decagram i need to take two steps that means 10 into 10 which gives me 100 here i have the unit 12 so i will find the value for 12 kg that becomes 12 into 100 which gives 1200 decagram now we got the value for 12 kg here we have 4 decagram we are going to add these two values so it becomes 1200 plus 4 which gives us the answer 1204 decagram now we got the first part in one unit now we are going to multiply 1 to 04 with 2 we will do the normal multiplication over here 2 4 is 8 2 0 is 0 2 0 is 0 and 2 1 so your final answer will be 2408 decagrams next we have division now here also i will be converting all the given units into a single unit here we have a question 6 hectometer 6 meter is to be divided by 6 so here hectometer is a greater unit so i will be converting that into meter so 1 hectometer is equal to 100 meter so we will find the value for 6 hectometer that becomes 6 into 100 i get 600 meter now we will add 600 meter and 6 meter so 600 plus 6 we get 606 meter now we will divide this uh, this number with 6 you will do your normal division 606 divided by 6 so 6 ones are 6 you subtract you get 0 you bring down the next zero so 6 zeros are zero Then you bring down the next six. So six ones are six. Our quotient is one zero one. So whatever is your quotient becomes your answer. So that means your answer will be one zero one. You need to write the unit meter. So always remember when we talk about addition and subtraction, we use the column method, and when we talk about multiplication and division. we first convert all the given units into a single unit and then we follow the operation whatever is mentioned so students i hope you have understood the chapter practice the questions which are given in the workout section and in the exercise i will meet you in the next interactive session thank you and have a nice day